I argue in the beginning, whether people like it or not, Donald Trump is by far the most powerful person in the Republican Party now. You can't be openly anti-Trump and, and keep any power, and you better stay off his bad side in, in, in order to, to have a future. Yeah, you know, remember when Donald Trump said he he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and uh, and he would still be popular? <laughs> I mean, it is yes. true. Like he has he has survived the most amazing onslaught of negative, fake media coverage. He is a, a special counsel counsels two impeachments, uh, the suspension from Twitter, the silencing of his voice. After it all, Jesse. He, uh, he's a, he is the leading voice and the leader of the Republican Party, and I'd expand it to say really the conservative movement. Matt, what does that mean for his presidential, I, I don't want to say chances in 2024, I think anyone who's not a moron knows that Donald Trump wins the nomination if he runs, but... Uh, that's going to be awfully tempting. I would assume the guy would want to stay and golf and relax and enjoy his life, but to have the presidential nomination basically handed to you if you run would be difficult to turn down. I don't think he does it, but what do I know? What do you know? Well, I tell you, I've talked to him about it a couple times, and uh, I always kind of like listen to every word he uses. I think it's definitely a, an option in his head. And when I talk to the people around him who have been advising him for years and are close to him and in his orbit, everyone has a different opinion. Oh, he's definitely running. Oh, he's 100 percent not running. He's already decided not to run. Oh, he's definitely going to run. He's laying the groundwork. That just tells me that, uh, like on all these big decisions, it's in Donald Trump's head. And at some point, he's going to decide whether or not he wants to do this again. I'll tell you one thing that will guarantee a run is if the Democrats continue to uh, persecute him through these prosecutors in the legal process. If they make it impossible for him to run his business, if they go after his kids legally, like the DA in New York is trying to do, he's already had to flee that state, uh, I guarantee you he'll, he'll run because he's just not going to put up with that crap. Matt, what am I supposed to make of an FBI raiding Rudy Giuliani? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but... This looks terrible in the wake of what appears to be some seriously highly partisan efforts by the FBI on behalf of Democrats to now raid the president's lawyer. That looks so bad. Well, this is the second reason why you could see a Trump candidacy, which is, you know, the woke bureaucracy at the CIA, which is now wanting to spy on uh, American citizens through third parties, the woke FBI leadership, not the agents. Uh, which seem to have learned nothing about spying on Donald Trump and how illegal and unconstitutional and inappropriate that was, how they acted like arms of the Democrat National Committee. And now, uh, now that Joe Biden's president, they're up to all their old uh, shenanigans, illegal shenanigans. And I'll tell you what, Jesse, if they continue down this road, don't be surprised if they use these powers against their political opponents uh, in the upcoming presidential campaign. Well, why wouldn't they, Matt? I mean, this is why I screamed about, honestly. There's no consequences. Jeff Sessions, Je yeah, Jeff Sessions and Bill Barr. We had two AGs under Donald Trump. We had the FBI illegally spying on an American citizen, knowingly using bad information to get a FISA warrant on it. And in the end, one guy was held to account and he got probation. So if I'm at the FBI, what, the, what do I care if I do it again? Nothing's going to happen to me. It's worse than that. So they used the Mark Elias law firm, Perkins Coie, to come up with the dossier about the totally discredited uh, charge of you know, foreign collusion, Russian collusion. We, we wasted years on that story on purpose so that it could you know, slow down Donald Trump's progress. And then they used that same law firm to run around this country and work around all the voter ID and voter integrity measures that were on the books by partisan laws. Uh, you know, I, I have to say, if I'm a Republican out there in the country, if I'm a conservative, you wonder why there are, it's okay to have two standards of justice. I'd probably be pretty pissed off, too. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me. Thanks.